Hey guys, it's John. This video is sponsored by Shudder. If you're unfamiliar with Shudder, allow me to introduce the best streaming service for horror, thrillers, and supernatural films and series. Start streaming now, ad-free, on all your favorite devices, including iOS, Android, Xbox One, Amazon Fire TV, Roku, and Google Chromecast. Shudder is loaded with thousands of hours of binge-worthy supernatural thriller and horror movies and shows. It's a lot of good, quality horror, all in one place, including tons of exclusives you won't find anywhere else. And for all that, it's just $5.99 per month, or $56.99 per year. Get started streaming the best horror, thriller, and supernatural content. Shudder's expertly curated collection includes must-see titles like VHS 94, The Boy Behind the Door, and PG Psycho Gorman, plus all the best horror documentaries and the hit creep show TV series from executive producer Greg Nicotero of The Walking Dead. To try Shudder free for 30 days, go to Shudder.com and use promo code JohnWolf. So, in light of the upcoming Dead by Daylight chapter, I recently had the idea to rewatch the original 1998 Japanese horror film, Ringu. You may also be familiar with the Western remake, The Ring, and Shudder has the original. And... Wait... Sadako versus Kayako? Okay, I genuinely had no idea that existed. Wow. Uh, I'm gonna have to bookmark that one for later. That's uh, that's a that's a showdown between the Ring Girl and the Grudge Girl, if you're wondering. Anyway, you can check out not only Ringu on Shutter, but also the prequel and sequel. I give it a ringing endorsement. What? Try Shutter free for 30 days. Go to Shutter.com and use promo code John Wolf. Hey guys, it's John, and welcome to my playthrough of Alien Damnation. This is a free horror game featuring Alien. It was developed by Stefano Cagnani, and if the name sounds familiar, uh, we've played several of their games on the channel before, including one that featured Michael Myers from Halloween, one that had uh, Leatherface, one recently that had Ghostface as well. So they like making these free licensed uh, horror games. There it is, I got it right. Um, and this one is based on Alien, so had to check it out. It's on Itch.io. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check it out yourself. Oh, this is actually kind of cool. Space bar to sprint. What? Okay. Normally people make a uh, shift to sprint, but this one has space bar, so, uh, right. Here we are exploring a planet. A desolate, awful planet. Just like the ones in Alien. Look at all the, uh, chromatic aberration. That's what this is called, with all the green, blue, and, and red around. Popular effect in horror video games, in particular. I just kind of find it a bit hard on the eyes. The video here is also interlaced vertically. But, uh, I'm gonna stop sounding like your dad right now, boring you to tears, and, uh, we'll move on with the game. The font used for the, uh, text in the lower left is, uh, called VCR Mono. I actually don't know. That might be what it's called. Rescue mission from the USS Sulaco. We have a flaw. Rescue shuttles launched near Fiorina 161. Emergency landing on... Lennon 5, 12,000 kilometers from Fiorina. I don't know why I even read that. It didn't really seem to help us much. Cause of failure, unknown. Human presence on board, none. Non-human presence on board, one. Uh-oh. There's a non-human on board. Watch out. Who could it be? The Xenomorph. Oh, hey, there's a human presence on board now. It's me. Oh, okay, buddy. <laughs> Let's go see what happened to that civilian. Uh, third person horror. Just like all my classic, classic video games, Resident Evil and Silent Hill. The trifecta is complete. Resident Evil, Silent Hill, Alien Damnation. Okay. You can't sprint here, by the way. I, I am even pressing spacebar. Hello! They're having a conversation over here. A rather heated one! Look! He's saying, talk to the hand! They both look exactly like me! Triplets, am I right? They're always gonna fight like this. So, point your finger at him again. It was funny the first time. There it is! There it is! 
There it is. Talk to the hand. Talk to the hand. <laughs> oh, sorry. We're quadruplets, actually. Uh, th this one likes to stay out of it. He's the youngest. Well, uh, I'm the responsible one of the bunch, and that's why I'm in charge. I don't know how they got away with uh, silently arguing like that, but, you know, when you grow up in a tight family like we did, um, you just, you know what the other one's uh, gonna say, and you can complete each other's sentences. I can't go through this door. It's hard to tell which doors you can go through and which ones you can't. How about this one? Okay. Is this, like, a facility that you're familiar with? Because if so, it would help to be able to tell me where to go. Instead of having me, like, Brush my nose up against the door like an idiot over and over. Okay, let's just let's try something where we just go straight. We don't go off to the side and check every door. We just go straight. That seems reasonable. You played Alien Isolation. Now, Alien Damnation. Released for free. On Itch.io. Although actually, if you do try to download this game, just know. Um, it's it's gonna do a weird thing where it makes you download a uh, like RAR file and then the RAR file will contain exe that does nothing and a link to uh, download the real game on Mega. And it's really fishy and weird, but that's what you have to do. Okay, there's an invisible wall here. So just so you know, I'm warning you, that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> And if you're sketched out, that means that you're smart. The only reason I continued with the download, you can't be serious, is because I saw that other people had played this game on YouTube, uh, including some of my friends, and so I was like, well, it must be safe then. I, I think it's because, I think it's because this is clearly copyright infringement, and so maybe they do it to protect themselves, I'm not sure. Thrilling gameplay so far. Um, I believe this is the only way that we can go, so this has to open. Oh. And here's more of the septuplets now. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Look, they're in a big argument! They're having a big fight. One of them's got a face hugger. And he's just on a mattress with no cover. Contact with a strange creature by one of the Colonians uh, on the debris of the USS Sulaco after the crash on Lennon 5. The creature stuck to his face. Rescue ship for the injured civilian arrived in the next few days. Uh, all Colonians must retreat to cryo chambers to avoid possible contagion until the rescue ship arrives. Yeah, how'd that work out for y'all in Alien 3, huh? That's right, I've seen the Alien films. Oh god, I can't read this. I told him to never go exploring alone out there. The USS Sulaco, I can't... Okay, there needs to be like a drop shadow on that text. Oh my god. Now we better go back to the cryo chambers. We have to sleep to avoid possible contagion from the thing on his face. Wait for help, and then return to normality. Can I say I love this little table over here? That is so funny. Can you imagine sitting on this shitty little couch, eating your, like, what, canned bread or something on that tiny little table? That's the dining room here. Oh, they got a TV. They got video games, y'all. Y'all want to play Purple Screen? It's my favorite game. By the way, where are the cryo chambers? Okay, is this open now? No, there's still an invisible wall! Bro, where are the cryo chambers? Oh, the cryo chambers are where the guys were arguing earlier. Okay, I remember where they are now. We have to go all the way back. So what, do I just... Do I get in it? Or what? We're here in the cryo chambers. Is there one in particular I'm supposed to go in? Oh my god, you just... Okay. I'm in! <laughs> oh my. <gasps> the face hugger fell off! What's gonna happen, y'all? Is this music from the Alien movies? You can't do that. If it's not, and it just sounds like it... <laughs> Then terrific job. What? Wait. What? So it happened to me? Uh, three days later, arrival day. Okay. 
<laughs> Seems like things have gone to shit. Why did that happen? What happened here? Look, he's all cautious now. Look, I can sprint now. Oh no! No! Look, an alien has already burst out of his chest. There's another purple TV. They were playing purple TV in here. Oh my god, look at this. I love the- I love the little shuffle. The little, like... Look at this. So sneaky. <laughs> this is the sprint, y'all. What can I say? Careful. Careful! Oh, this opens. Here we go. The structure of the ship seems to be completely different here. Why are the lights blinking so fast? Oh no, what the hell are these things? Would they look like giant eggs? But where is everyone? <laughs> I love it. He's kinda- he's kinda hunched over too. I think that's what makes it extra funny. I'll find who's responsible for this. I'm a goblin. A goblin, you see. Let me get in this giant robot. Do you have any belongings I can put in my pouch? I love to steal from humans. Oh. Oh no, look at these. Hell, are these eggs alive? Oh look, there's a face hugger right there. He's not gonna get on me though. He's just gonna- it, the, the eggs are just gonna open up and the face hugger's just gonna sit there. Oh look, there's still one on this guy. What was that? Oh wait, they close. Yo, where are we supposed to go here? Ba boom Can we go this way? No, there's still the invisible wall. Weird. Dude, you need a- you need to have like a pack slung over your shoulder to complete the goblin aesthetic. This is not cutting it. Look, more people playing purple TV. What's up? What's over here? Oh no! He's convulsing! He has a motion detector! Uh-oh. Are we gonna see it? No way. Okay, that's- that looks pretty cool. That looks legit. It's okay, we got a motion detector now. Is there gameplay now? If this tracker works, it will show me the position of that creature. Oh my gosh, really? Does it really? The station control system is detecting the creature. My god, this is sensory overload! So now not only are the lights flashing, they're flashing red. <laughs> I have a trinket now. I will retreat to my goblin cave. The tracker is working. That thing is near. I must be careful. Must we? <laughs> Damn it, that thing is growing up fast. We're good, y'all. We're good. This is like... Oh, uh, you can't press escape or there's like no options. This is like really unpleasant. Okay, they come from over here. Oh, not... Sweet reprieve. We don't need to have the lights flashing. Ugh. Oh, okay. That's better. Honestly, half the reason I was sprinting around was because of all the flashing lights. Okay. Any more trinkets for me? <laughs> oh, gosh. There's an egg over there, I guess. I like how the eggs opening don't do anything. Like, they're not a threat. It's not scary to have them open. It's just like a random sound effect that's made. And then you just keep going. Here, look, it's about to happen. Yeah, but... Oh! That sound... of the alien in the vent is the exact same one from Alien Isolation. I'm fairly certain. Oh my! There's the alien! What happens if we die? Let's get killed. What the hell was that thing? Was that the creature? Sure, dude. Oh. He's still over my head. Is watching me. Is hunting me.
Oh no. <laughs> He's just standing there like a dork. I'll get killed. We're gonna goblin crab walk away from him. Don't worry. Oh no, the lights! God damn it! I can hear that creature. He is near. Oh, now we run! Look at us! We can actually run now! Oh, I must attract him inside the red chamber. That will be a locker room for the creature. What red chamber? It's okay, we're so fast. Look at how fast we run. Once the alien is in the red room, you will have to stay outside or you will be trapped with him. Ah, I love the alien. Come on, come on, buddy. You can do it. Look at him. <laughs> He's coming. He's coming. Watch out. Come this way. Come this way. He's in the red chamber. Oh, no. So how does the red chamber work? How did it function? Did it like roast him in there? Like some Resident Evil 5 Ouroboros shit or... Huh? I guess we did it. This is the fastest you can run, huh? Man, you survived through pure luck, my friend. Oh, the game just ends. <laughs> Oh no! We had a face hugger on us. There's the alien. We died in the end anyway. Wow! What an ending. The cold dark of space. So that's what happened on that ship. You've heard about Ripley's ship? Well, I'll wait till you hear this one. It's a doozy. Would the ship stop moving? Oh, here the rescue ship the uh, Viatorum. Do you copy? What's the situation? We are approaching. They're gonna find a ship full of aliens. Viatorum to base- oh, Ian of five, do you copy? I thought it was Lenov for some reason. Oh my god, oh, we're back in. Oh, now we're the rescue workers. Now it's first person, y'all. Okay. We could zoom in with the camera. Um, so, how long have the lights been flashing? It's all good, y'all. Nothing to be afraid of, just a face hugger that I'm looking directly at. Oh no! A little snack for the alien. Well, that was something. Way too many flashing lights, first of all. Very difficult to even look at. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's the entire experience. Yeah, the game just closed, so it's over, I guess. Uh, yeah, my thoughts on Alien Damnation. Um, I think there's, as with all of this developer's games, some pretty significant copyright infringement happening. Um, I think the fact that it's uploaded to Mega means that uh, the developer knows but doesn't care about that aspect. I think this developer actually is very good at creating very cinematic cutscenes, but as far as a game designer, I, I think I can safely say after playing four other games, they're not cutting it on the game design. There's it, like bad level design, bad like almost everything except for the cinematic cutscenes. They're good at that. And I, I wish, I think that they would work with someone else, maybe with um, none copyright infringement models and stuff, and they could make something kind of cool, I think. Something with some production value behind it, and like a lot of the other, like, free indie horrors that you play today, um, 
you know, it, it seems like they, they could be able to bring that kind of aspect to it. But, you know, just uh, just as a standalone experience, not great. Not even not even really that funny. I mean, I was trying my best. Uh, we're going to have to play another game in this video, I think. I know it's not a uh, random horror games episode, but uh, I wanted to do a little double header here. This is Halloween the Horror Game, also a free game on Itch.io. Uh, also, copyright infringement, so I figured I'd check it out. This was actually not made by Stefano Cagnani, it's by uh, Mr. Fernandez and Mr. Gonzalez down there. Uh, they made what looks a lot like Babysitter Bloodbath by Public Combo, which was a game that was originally named Halloween the Horror Game but they had to change the character and change the uh, name of the game, I believe because they got like a cease and desist or something like that. But uh, that was years ago, so let's go ahead and uh, check it out. Halloween, the horror game. Content warning, this game contains violence, blood, and death. Thus, it's not advisable for children. Wow, thank you. Please upload your reaction to YouTube. Well, you're in luck, that's exactly what I'm doing. Oh no! Watch out! Oh, here we are in the game! <laughs> the phone is ringing! Here we go. Objective. Answer the phone. Press E to open wide. I don't like how that's phrased. Okay, hi, Tommy, or whatever your name is. Tommy? I thought it was- I thought he had like a karate black belt on or something like that. You just got weird clothes, huh? I haven't seen Halloween in a while. Go, residents. That's actual audio from the movie. Okay, I hang up. Send Tommy to sleep. All right, Tommy. I didn't even have to say anything. He just knows what to do, huh? Yeah, go ahead. Go up there. Get close open windows. Look. Wait! I'm watching myself on the TV! That's incredible. E to close this window. Oh. It was open? I just couldn't even see. Let's go close all the open windows, y'all. Why? <laughs> Why are the windows open but the blinds are still up? I don't know. Can't, can't answer these questions. I just know in my home, uh, things would be different. Ooh, I picked up a key. I sure did. They liked this picture so much that they put it uh, 10 feet away in the next room. They were like, this is a winner. We're putting this one everywhere. Okay, close open windows. The door's locked. The key doesn't belong to the store. Oh, okay, interesting. Uh, you shouldn't put a uh, candled jack-o'-lantern this precariously on the edge. That's how you start house fires. Tommy, is this how you're gonna sleep, kid? You look like you're trying to suffocate yourself, face down on top of the covers. What a weird child. Look at the outside world, it's just literally an abyss and our roof has no textures. Oh my god. There's nothing in your closet, Tommy. Do you not have any toys? He has a Star Wars poster and a toy giraffe and like some blocks. Man, this poor kid. Oh my god, no clothes? No wonder you're wearing whatever the hell that is. He's got two toy giraffes. Why? Cruel parents. Door is locked. How about this one? Are we okay? There we go. Close that window. Um, what's this? You picked up bullets! They just have bullets sitting on the- Sitting on the desk in the hallway? Unbelievable. Hello. It's okay, I got it. Oh, the key doesn't belong to this door. Are you sure? What does the key belong to then? Huh. Ooh, a flashlight. We're gonna turn that off for now. Oh, a dead plant. I picked up a key! Was it in the plant? No. Okay. So the keys are just like 
Hidden around? Is this... You just got whiskey? The kid can pick this up. That's not cool. We just saw this scene. It's repeating. Whoa! Oh my. That was actually pretty cool. Oh my goodness. Let's try this one. Wait. Restore the power from the basement. I just opened the back door. Hey! What are you doing out here? What? Huh? He doesn't belong to this door. What about this one? No? Okay. There's lots of creaking going on! I don't like that! What's with all the creaking? Okay! What the fuck? What were you doing out here, Tommy? It's so nonsensical. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, it is so nonsensical that it doesn't make any sense, y'all. Come here for more witty commentary from me. The sharpest wit on YouTube. Okay, I gotta get a key that goes in the basement. Okay, so we've got we've got one of these. And of course, we're just leaving the, the back door wide open. Nice, dude. Nice. What is this? Picked up a key? Okay, does that go to the basement, maybe? Uh, I'll tell you what. I would really like a gun. Oh my gosh. I've got three bullets, but no gun. Ain't that something? How are we supposed to shoot Michael? Key number two. Opens up the basement. I'm sure of it. Oh. Hmm, is there a gun down here? Picked up a key. Okay. Yeah, look at that. We're back in business. Uh oh, uh oh. Holding my breath. Oh, this is actually pretty pulse pounding, huh? There he goes, walking like a robot up there. And I'm gonna let go now. I like how Michael didn't even check over here. I can still hear you crunching leaves. Are we good to go now? I need my gun. I need a gun. Gun time. That's a cool Michael Myers uh, model. Kill Michael Myers is now the objective. Uh-oh. Running backwards. Okay, I gotta do it again. Apparently I gotta sneak around so he won't hear me. Now see, this music ain't from the movie. I don't think. And that model ain't from Dead by Daylight. So... If I'm not mistaken, original... Original assets here. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it right this time. I'm going to crouch into the, into the house. Quiet. Quiet. Sounds like he's upstairs. He's trying different doors. Wait, did he see me through the floor? I guess he did. Maybe he'll go downstairs. Maybe he'll go down into the basement.
Very cool, buddy. There we go. No? Okay. Gun. So we've got a gun. Okay. Now we go, now we go kill him. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Jeez. Look at him, he's just lurking. He's lurking towards me. I killed him. Oh no. Okay, okay. Keep going, keep going. Reload the bullets! Come on. Come on, get out of here. Got him again! For real this time? Did I get him? Did I kill him? Yeah! Halloween fan game is a game created in 13 days. <laughs> Was it for like a game jam or something? Okay, I will admit, this one uh, actually was like kind of fun and had some nice moments. No earnings were intended with the creation of this game. Well, unfortunately, that's not something that really holds up. But, you know, it, probably nobody's gonna ding you for this. You're not selling it and, you know, you're not using like assets or, you know, music or things that other people made. You're just using the intellectual property. So, I don't know. When it comes to copyright, it's like, is it technically legal? No, but like, is anyone gonna really care? Probably not. Yeah, yeah, you know, this was cool. I enjoyed it. Probably the best one I've played since Babysitter Bloodbath. Babysitter Bloodbath, though, that's a tough standard to to beat, that early public combo game. I'm not gonna talk too much about that game, but uh, yeah, I, th I think that was better at the time than it is now, but still, it had a very unique atmosphere to it. This was fine, though, this was fun. Why was Timmy in the backyard? Timmy was like spraying through the backyard for no reason. I don't understand. But yeah, I had a good time. I hope you guys enjoyed these two games in this video. Let me know what you thought in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Think critically.